to five is three. Century Farrell looking for his fourth consecutive win. It's post time for the seventh race. Here they come. And they're off. Off stride leaving. Cliffhanger made a break. Good beginning on the far outside for Sportsline. Sportsline muscling his way to the front. Tracked by Best in Show. Century Fair with the inside is up close early from in third. He'll grab that pocket spot, wanting nothing less than a two-hole trip early. Feeling it's not going to sit either. Century Fair already right line. He found clearance, and he's pointed to the lead, 26-1, and one, and he'll get the top. Sportsline back into second, Best in Show third. Bronx Sealster fourth, inside fifth, Stag Party. Sixth at the rail, his stable mate better up. Swinging out from in seventh goes B. Stoney getting underway. Then it's back to no ordinary man, Mock David, and after the break, Break and strike cliffhanger is far back. Field approaching the midway point. With that lead, it's Century Faro. Second at the inside, sports line. Best in show third. Bronx Sealster first up out of fourth now, half and 55. Second quarter, 28 and 4. Century Faro with the lead. Bronx Sealster coming first up. Sports line in the pocket spot right there on cover. Moving up is Stag Party into fourth now. Fifth buried at the rail is best in show. Sixth outside, B Stoney. Then better up is seventh. Nailed at the inside. Further back back to No Ordinary Man. Gapping four more lengths, Mock David, as they come to three quarters next. The leader remains Century Faro. Outside Bronx Sealster. Sports line in the pocket spot. Stag party on cover. Three quarters, 122 and four. And they come into the stretch chasing Century Faro. Century Faro, Bronx Sealster, Stag party. Looking for him is best in show. Up off cover. B. Stoney now. They're in deep stretch. Century Faro still there. Bronx Sealster on the outside. No quit in him. Wailed wide, Stag Party in at the rail, best in show, four cross finish, Century Faro digs in, Century Faro won it by a neck, Stag Party on the outside was third best, in between was Bronx Sealster scooting up the rail, best in show, Century Faro scores over Bronx Sealster, tight for show in 149 and four. Well, Doc, as the old saying goes, the good ones just find a way. And that's exactly what Century of Pharaoh did here tonight. Uh, I'm running out of questions to ask you when this guy wins. He's just been so good this year. Yeah, he sure has. And uh, when I warmed him up tonight, then he was good. Even though he hasn't raced for a month, which was well documented in the program right up there, um, I actually gave him 10 days right off, just turned him out. But we fed him full feed, and he put some weight on. And... If it seemed like he grew a little bit, filled out a little bit more. So, because uh, I was looking at him tonight in the paddock, and he sure looked a different horse. Um, I figured he might be a little bit short on the end, and, and he was, but he still fought them off. I, all I did, I trained him a mile and 51 at the farm last Wednesday at Classy Lane, and uh, that's all he needed. So, it would be a good tightener for next week. We're heading to Northfield next week for the Millstein. Watching the replay just moments ago, and uh, even watching it live, I got the feeling, you know what, it looked like they were getting to him, but I don't know, I kind of feel like the, if they went around again, they still weren't going to beat him. Yeah, well, I thought they were going to get to him there, but no, he just, he just fights them off. He's a real tough guy, this guy, and so uh, we're very pleased for sure this year. We're lucky enough to have him on our side of the border, the U.S. faithful watching him via television, but they're going to get a closer look at him coming up real soon. Yeah, he grew up on a half-mile track, so I don't anticipate any problems, hopefully. We just have to hope for a draw on the half, because Northfield's a very tight little half-mile, but it's well-banked, and uh, uh, we'll see what happens. So, Congratulations on this win. Best of luck in the Millstein. Thank you very much. Winning trainer, Dr. Ian Moore, as Century Farrell gets his 12th lifetime victory, winning tonight's OSS Gold in 149-4.